Hi, I'm Robert Osborne, and welcome. Nice to have you with us. We're going to take on an international flair for the next few hours as we highlight the films of the celebrated Spanish filmmaker Louis Buñuel. For nearly 50 years, Buñuel offered up his distinct brand of social commentary, which he regularly skewered the Catholic religion, fascist politics, and middle-class society, often in ways that angered and befuddled not only audiences and critics, but governments as well, all of which forced Buñuel's career to take a detour or two over the years. But in the end, he wound up making some of the most celebrated work of the final two decades of his life. I mean, most directors retire by their 60s, and many who didn't perhaps should have, but Boonwell, at 60, he was just hitting his stride. The first film in our, that we have in our Boonwell lineup is perhaps the most celebrated and certainly his first big commercial success. It's Belle de Jour, released in 1967, starring 24-year-old Catherine Deneuve. It's a restless Parisian housewife who's been feeling that something's missing from her life. So she daydreams about a more exotic lifestyle and eventually turns her fantasies into reality by working at a brothel during the afternoon before her husband gets home for dinner. During those daytimes, she encounters many interesting and unusual characters as she explores this new illicit world. Now, the film carries Boonwell's trademark surrealism blending fantasy and reality to the point where even Boonwell claimed to not know which parts of the film really happened and what was only a dream. One thing that was quite clear though, the film took home the Golden Lion, the grand prize at the Venice Film Festival. It also made an international star out of the luminous Catherine Deneuve. So here from 1967, also starring Jean Sorel, we bring you Belle de Jour.